on. Oh. Right, hello ladies. Today I'm going to demonstrate a nice arrangement including some fruits and British flowers. So the, it's British Flower Week next week so I thought we would celebrate it by using everything grown in Britain. So we've got, if you recognise the, the, any of these, shout out. This is dill. It's got a lovely, lovely smell. It's fabulous. Um, we've got Lizzie Macchia. Some people think that this is a Veronica. It's very, very similar to a Veronica, but it's a fassa head and the leaves are slightly different. They're a bit more fleshy. Um, does anyone know this one? This is more popular. Yeah, Alstroemeria lily. Gorgeous pink tone in there um, with the lovely tongue going <coughs> yellow and sort of spiky in there. And these are one of my absolute favourites. Alliums, yeah. So they're from the onion family. They're a bit not so nice when you cut them, but I just adore the globe heads. Um, then we have a good old traditional Sweet William, I heard a few of you say. Now, does anyone know what this one is? This is Silver Sussex. And I thought, we'll get some of this because we have a new Dutch and Duchesses. So, oh, God, say it with <laughs> Dutch and Duchess of Sussex. Don't say that when you've had a drink. <laughs> so, all quite appropriate and all thought about the varieties. On the foliage side, gorgeous copper beech. Love it, love it, love the colour. And Salal, which will kind of echo the tones of the lime that we're going to put in. So I've sort of gone for a plum and lime combination in the colours and the fruits as well. So, first of all, we've all got a metal plate you can use it for your dinner when you go camping afterwards <laughs> um, and then we need what's technically known as a frog and a bit of fix and then you just put that in the middle of your plate press it down and that's going to hold the oasis in place i've pre-soaked all your oasis for those of you that don't know does anyone know why this is brown and not green like the traditional. This is eco-friendly. So this is going to break down. Um, it's much, much better than the green. So a book of flowers, we've gone with the changes. We're actually looking at different packaging and we're going to really try our best to go with it because it's so important, isn't it? So we've got half a brick, I say pre-soaked. So we'll just push that down so it's nice and firm. And then with our oasis tape, we need to take this around underneath the dish and right over the top and make sure there's plenty underneath. And then doing it the same the other way so we've got a crossover of the tape. Okay. So that's the dish prepared with the oasis. Then now I'm going to just fill in with some foliage just to start with. So for coverage of the oasis really, I'm cutting pieces of salal. Cut on the slant, sharp slant and a good wedge, about an inch you want of each stem going into this oasis. This oasis, because it's biodegradable, doesn't grip quite the same. So we've got to learn to change with it and to put more of the stem actually in this. So if you've got a leaf at the bottom of your stem, just cut it off so you've got that extra length to come in to do the job so it doesn't come out easily. So I'm just doing a skirt around the base of the arrangement but I'd also like to kind of see a little bit um, so I'm going to get a wire which I'll get in a minute 
my worthy assistant and mixing in the beach the same again this has been conditioned with um, quick dip which gives the it, you cut the stem and it get thank you gives you um, extra life in your foliages so in order to be able to see the dish because I like to see it it's a bit different I'm just pinning those leaves into place so they're doing the covering for me turn it around and any little pieces we can just pop in the top and cover over there yeah we'll get that in if you want to come out more that's up to you how wide you go if you want to keep it neater think about where you're going to put it when you get home so what's going to fit in the space you've got in your mind is it a small table is it your, your um, mantelpiece for instance so you want to keep it long um, just think bear that in mind while you when you're making your own designs so I haven't covered the back too much yet um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these leaves at the front, pin them into place and then we'll start with the flowers. Okay, I'm crossing over <coughs> and just pinning them in so you've still got the lip of the dish in view. So the first what I'm going to use is the beautiful silver Sussex. So we need to cut a, a good slab. We've got secateurs as well because these stems are quite tough. And I'm coming to the back of the arrangement, making sure there's plenty in and off centre with this because I'm going to create different uh, levels of interest in this arrangement. Then I'm going to have my alliums. Now, when we're taught floristry, we always bear in mind that everything naturally grown outside is bud to bloom. So if you remember, the smaller at the top and the heavier ones at the bottom or nearer the focal point, because that's how it is in nature. So I'm keeping those together because I like that sort of space between them and I'll cut on the slant and they can go on the other side of the Silver Sussex and I say make sure there's plenty in. Okay, so we've got our higher flowers doing some lovely work there. Dill, I'm going to put in later so we'll just pop that over to one side. Lizzie Machia, we will have this I think in front of the Silver Sussex leaning away so it's taking your eye that way as well then my Alstro I'm gonna step down a bit so it's not on the same level as the um, Allium so a bit lower there okay and then Sweet William, <coughs> around coming out of the arrangement and then having it coming through as well. I'll just turn this round for one minute so I can see. Yeah, I'm actually going to recess this one really low and that's going to cover that oasis there for me. You can see that's covered quite a big part of the brown oasis. have it coming through if you want to, um, lower or wider. All of these pieces will be different even though we've all got the same flowers and it's good to see everybody else's work and to get their view on it all. Okay and now I've just got a couple of small light pieces that I'm going to introduce get rid of those out of the way. 
tidy as you go and then you can actually see what you're left with. So there's bins by your stations. So if you clear your stems and then you see exactly what you've got left on the table and where you want it to go. Okay. And I'll just turn it round. Okay. So that's the main of the flowers. I'm going to put the, as I say, put the dill in last. Oh, there's a little sneaky one. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Telling you what to do and I'm not doing it myself. Right. What we use to anchor these in the Oasis, won't, it, they won't um, hold well with wire. So, good old kebab sticks come into their own here. So, you'll probably get away, these are quite long ones. Put on the slant, so you've got a sharp end to pierce in. And just gently twist it, but don't make it come through the other side. So that's pretty secure on there. So there's our apple. Lime, we'll get a squeeze in our eye, be to be careful, love the smell of lime, and good old plum, so I'm going to actually use another one here, so in the bottom, okay, so positioning, it's entirely up to you, take them right in, Though, because we make the arrangement front heavy if we don't have them neater into the arrange into the oasis area. Okay, and you can do this with any fruits at home. So if you're having another go, I uh, wanted to use grapes, but they wouldn't last as long. So what I've chosen today for this is, is things that will last for you but if you're having a little go at home you could lay grapes on the side you could get uh, oranges and um, lemons and just play with the colour play with flowers and the colour that match and have a go in that way as well and then I'm just going to fill in a little bit more with my foliage but I'm saving my dill till last because it's my favourite so, just going to block the back in, fill in any spaces that you kind of still can see. It's hard, to, you can't block it all in with your greenery because you've got to see where you want your flowers and your fruit. So at this stage, you've still got spaces of um, oasis showing. So, keep yourself some greenery back till you've finished. Fold your leaves if you want to, pin them in. Nobody told me you could see the Oasis tape. You're being too good to me. And we don't want to see that. We don't want to see the mechanics. So I've taken the apple out and I've just covered that now. That's better. Okay. Just finishing off. Okay, so I'm happy with the front of the arrangement now and because the dill has got such a lovely floppy head I'm just going to place it in so it hangs and just find my oasis, move that leaf out of the way. Quite a soft scent. So I've just taken the end off it again, and then that's just what we call veiling. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's our summer British flower arrangement. That's lovely. Thank you. <laughs> so over to you now. Want to see one of these off every one of you? <laughs>
Me and Emma and Bal are here to help, so you just shout, okay? I'll show you the stations at the back, I'll take you